a similar scenario with that which we had on the GPP USD is what I'm finding here on the AU doing USD. Well, looking at the higher time frame, that's on the daily time frame. It's obvious that we are on a downtrend. As we can see, price continue to find lower lows and lower highs until the later part of April, where we saw an huge expansion that pushed price to 0.70250. And then we saw another lower high. And then we saw another expansion that went right through 0.68250300 thereabouts after which we saw this move on Friday, this bullish move on Friday. However, considering the fact that this is a long-term bearish momentum, a momentum that has lasted, um, let me see, well, it's lasted over a year now. And if we want to look closely into what has been happening in the last two months, definitely we want to, to say, okay, this is let's look for selling opportunities on this one of course at this point in time we might be looking forward to a scenario where price climbs up this area back into this um, bearish trend line and we see a a continuation pattern that will set price crashing further down however we are not sure with the information we have on the daily time frame is not enough to give us that clarity in that regard and also, considering the downtrend continuation, downtrend momentum on this one, what is the possibility that price might not even go further? Probably price will come back down into this level, then come back this trend line and push further down. That's also a big question mark that we can tell at this point. So in that regard, we will need to scale down to a much lower time frame, let's say the four hours time frame, to actually see what is happening in the market, at least in the last one week so moving in closely to st what structure has been giving us since the beginning of the month first of all i noticed that at this point in time that's the later part of april moving into the month of may we had a support level around this area which l price supported for a week thereabout before we saw that breakdown that happened in the first week of this month as price push for the down, price push for the down into this level and with a sharp rejection of that zone which had been supporting price action for a week, making that area a new supply zone at this point. So for the sake of clarity, it's appropriate that we, we emphasize this zone by drawing out a an illustration that will allow us give it a label for the sake of clarity. So allow me to label this and supply zone. And then we should have it right in between the center. Good. And we have something like this. Okay. So with a supply zone found at this point, and a sharp rejection of that area. When I zoom in to what has been happening since the 4th of May, we will notice that price has been respecting a particular trend situation that you can see price respecting that trend line that I've identified on the chart as the red dotted line. And as at close of business, close of trading session yesterday, that is Friday, we saw price close right on the confluence with that trend line. And now, what do we think is going to happen? So first of all, the first thing I did was to identify a key level around this area. And the reason why this is a key level is because if you can look, if you see what's happened, we saw that price was supported at this point before we saw that breakdown of that level, which makes it a significant key level that we can work with moving into the new week. So for the sake of clarity, I would like to identify this level and label it. So we have key level right at 0 0.69150, which is also 
a psychological level at this point. So allow me to give this a label and I'll put it on the top. Right hand side will be okay. And then we give this um, multi -car color. Okay. Uh oh. I should have extended that. Top right. I don't know why that is not showing. Oh, okay. Play level. Play level at 0 0.69150. So this is what we have here right now. So going into the new week, what will this key level be? This key level shall be our diacity going into the new week. Like I stated earlier on the daily time frame, I said there are two possibilities on this time frame. One, considering the long-term bearish momentum, which I think is very, very significant at this point, because whatever decision we're going to make at this point should take into consideration what is happening on the larger time frame. So one, the first possibility I said is that we might see price continue to respect this dotted dash line where we see a rejection, a multiple rejection, or probably a reversal pattern thereabout, right under this key level, a breakout of structure, which is a signal, a retest into structure, a confirmation that will push price down the rail. However, there is another possibility where we could see, we already saw a breakout of the structure at that point, and we might be looking forward to a breakout of that trend line as well, a retest into that trend line or that key level with a scenario where we see structures that supports a trend continuation, a breakout of structure, a retest into structure, a confirmation of a trend continuation to the upside, after which we might be hoping that price will respect that trend line that we identified on the daily time frame after which we will probably see um, structures that will support a trend continuation to the downside so what this simply means is that one we will be working with this impulse leg identified here we started on the 4th of may as we can see, since the beginning of this month, price has continued to find lower lows and lower high, which make this move our impulse leg at this point. So in that regard, just pulling out our retracement tool and running it right through that impulse leg, what do we have as our golden zone area? So if we look right and run this through the golden zone area we'll have this one here as a selling opportunity zone at the same time it take profit target for buyers let me put this i'll explain i'll explain a little better very soon allow me to give this a label and um Let's see what we have. Okay. So I like to make this yellow. It give us a touch of light yellow. And um, we delete this. We no longer need this anymore. So what I'm saying at this point, if you look at what's up, what where our take the center opportunity zone is right at is right between 0 0.70500 and 0 0.7200, which also shares that sellers supply zone we identified earlier where we are looking for probably a situation that will insinuate a trend continuation to the downside so the two ways i said earlier is this we look for we already have a breakout of that key level we look for a breakout of that bearish trend line then we look for structure that supports trend continuation around this area and join the potential bullish move which is a counter trend at this point in time and with a take profit target within this area and that will definitely give us around how many pips there about if we what this simply means that we want to be taking a buy opportunity right above that key level when we see confirmations that support that move 
and then we'll be having a take profit target of let me see how, how much that's going to be okay so if we're having this area our stake profit targets then we will be having around 150 pips there about with our stop loss right below that key level as around let's say 35 40 pips depending on on individual preference so that's that then the other possibility we are saying is that price might reject the trend line multiple times crash below this key level reject the key level and send price going down hereby respecting the bearish temporary bearish trend line we identified earlier so if that is the case at this point definitely we want to be entering a selling opportunity right below that key level where we will be having a take profit target of about let's see what that is at this point at least on a short term if we use this leg as our impulse leg we want to have an extension of this impulse leg sorry we want to have an extension of this impulse leg and to get that we will be using our extension tool and then running the extension tool through this impulse leg we will be having a take profit target at around 1272.2 percent and 1414 so if we have something like let's put 0.675 at least for our first take profit target so we are looking for a short-term trade on this one and whatever happened afterwards will now determine if we want to continue to the downside at any sign of a reversal setup forming so we will be having our stop loss around this to around 40 pips 45 pips thereabout for these opportunities if they finally happen so if you will agree with me that going to the new week the key level at 0.69150 is a very very significant area we should be looking out for going into the new week and to add to what i said about the sellers sell buyers below the key level um there is this move i didn't mention which i said this impulse leg we have an impulse leg here and price is probably doing a retracement into the golden zone area at this point that is if we don't if we see reversal patterns around this area and you are in the, the buy trade, definitely it's appropriate that you move your stop loss to break even area because there is a possibility that price can still come for that down as this might probably be a retracement of that impulse leg I saw here. So if we want to identify that golden zone area for that impulse leg, we should have something like this. And then we have, um, Allow me to double this. Allow me to so that I can just place it right in between. So so that we can so this is gonna be an information for those who took the counter trading opportunity in full for buyers. multiple rejection from sellers or reversal pattern to signal selling opportunity is coming so move stop to break even just to protect your capital that's that uh, so that's that at this point let me make this a little bit smaller so that um, so that's what we have around that area so what I what's to make things clearer what I'm trying to say is this that if you are in the trade with the buy buy move and you see we see opportunities, we see situations where we see multiple rejection of this area, probably a reversal pattern at this point. It is most appropriate that we move our stop loss to break even as this might actually be the completion 
of a um, retracement wave that's probably going to send price crashing for the down with the rejection of this key level and for the down. So this is what my scenario is going to be on the AUD USD going into the new week. And definitely I will from time to time make sure that I give updates in the comment section on my TradingView account whenever I see setups or situation lining up in our favor. I would let you know. And if things are not going in our favor too as well, <laughs> I will also share in the comment section below as always. So on this note, allow me to pause the video at this point and I wish you a wonderful night rest.